My mum has a dinosaur in her back garden. Seriously, I've, I've got it on the table, actually. It might not be a Tyrannosaurus Rex, but this is still a dinosaur. It's an Ammonite, which was a crab-like creature that came from the Cretaceous period. The Cretaceous period was 66 million years ago, and it was the era in which the meteorite hit Earth that wiped out so many of the dinosaurs. But why does my mum have an Ammonite in her back garden? Assuming this is dead, because it's from 66 million years ago, it should be gone. When most animals are buried, they decompose. Eventually even the skeletons aren't left, and that can be in a really short period of time, less than three weeks. It doesn't make sense that the shell of the Ammonite would be left over, it's organic material, which should have decomposed as well. Well, this isn't actually a body. This is a fossil. A fossil is like a ghost made of rock. Think about it this way. The earth is made of all sorts of different types of rock. One of them is sedimentary rock. If a body finds itself there, it might become a fossil. Fossilization occurs when organic material is replaced with something else. So I'm made of all sorts of different bits. I'm made of a skeleton inside, and I've got fleshy bits, squidgy bits, I've got gas in my lungs, and lots of liquid for body, 70% water. So if I'm buried in sedimentary rock, what might happen is that all of those organic bits, all the bits that make me me other than my skeleton, are replaced by other types of minerals. It becomes rock. My body would become rock apart from the skeleton. In fact, sometimes even my skeleton would be replaced. A fossil made of me might just be entirely rock, like this ammonite. This shell is made of rock, but only because the original shell was replaced by minerals in the sedimentary rock. There are other types of fossils as well. One of my favourite types is a trace fossil, which is where a paw print or a worm's trail might be left of the ground, preserved for millions of years. So a fossil is just a mineralised body of an animal. That's all this ammonite is. It is rock, it's not a body, but it's in the shape of a body. It's the memory of a body, the ghost of a body. So if you ever find a fossil on the beach, you might find a shape that looks like a fish or an insect. You found a perfect record of what something looked like millions of years ago, and that's really exciting. Bye-bye.